Welcome back, Faith Warriors of God. Faith Warrior brought to check in right back in with you. I want to jump on here and encourage you today. And to let you know, do not quit. God did not put quit in you. He didn't put quit in you. That ain't what he installed in you. You may be going through something terrible right now. The walls are caving in right now. You feel like you're in darkness and it's only getting darker. The pain that your heart may be feeling because of what you are struggling. Maybe you have health issues. Maybe you have lost a loved one. Maybe your kids are acting unruly. Maybe you're about to lose your job. Or maybe you probably already have lost your job. And Satan is chirping in your ears. It's saying that God don't care about you and that God don't love you. And he even go as far as to say he got more for you than what God can give you. That's what Satan does. But I want to jump on here and just tell you, do not quit. God did not put quit in you. Does it hurt? Yes. Is it painful? Yes. But God is with you wherever you go. Don't quit and don't throw in the towel. Let me share something with you. Some of y'all probably already know, but a lot of you is probably new to this channel. I lost my wife over a year ago. She passed away suddenly. She was my girlfriend she was my lover she was my wife she was my partner she was everything the bible tells us to love our wife as christ loved the church i loved her that much i did satan tells me every day to give up to throw in the towel satan i'm saying if god loved you why did that happen why Go back into the world. That's what Satan tells me every day. Go back to your partying that you used to do before you got saved, before you met your wife. Go back to the partying. Go back to the clubbing. Go back to the lusting. Go back to the fornication. That is what Satan is telling me. But let me tell you something. I will not quit. I will not turn my back upon the Lord. I will not Satan done told me many times, it's time for you to throw in a towel. But let me tell you something. I have already given my towel to Jesus. Because if you give your towel to Jesus, you don't have no towel to throw in. He has it. Hallelujah. It is going to take Jesus to carry you through your trials and through your tribulation, through your pain and your hurt. You may be facing many giants right now many giants in your life but please don't quit god did not put quit in you it's not a part of you satan wants to put that in you he wants to put that fear in you he wants to put that doubt and unbelief in you who do you think that is Satan wants you to quit. He wants you to go back to your drinking. He wants you to go back to your fornications. He wants you to go back to those things that you used to do. He wants you to go back to your lying and your envy and your jealousy. He wants you to go back to that lifestyle because of your trouble and your adversities that you are in. Satan is wicked. He don't care anything about us. Don't quit. Please do not quit. God did not put that in you. If you have to go into your room, go into your room, lie on the floor, look up into the ceiling and say, God, I am not going to quit. I am a winner in you. Tell, say, God, I am not going to quit. I am a winner in you. Say it. Say, God, I am not going to quit.
I am a winner in you. Say it again. God, I am not going to quit. I am a winner in you. Tell God that you are staying put. Tell God you will not look to the left or to the right, but you will look forward. You will trust in God to lead you and guide you through your darkest times. Through your darkest times. Satan will try to make you feel lonely. He'll try to make you feel like God is not there. Listen, I'm going to tell you all this. If you don't know already, I am not one of those teachers or preachers that's going to make it seem like I am holier than thou because I am not. I go through my struggles. I go through my pains. I go through my trials and my tribulations. And many times in those situations, Satan says, just give up. Why are you serving God? That's what Satan says. He says, why are you serving God? Why are you trusting in him and believing in him? Look what happened. Satan wants you to dwell upon your past failures to have you forsake God. Because he knows if he can get you to dwell upon your past failures, you probably going to turn your back on God. But it's time for us to think upon and look back on all the things that God has brought us from. Think on all of the victories that God has helped you through. All your trials that he has helped you through. Your adversities that God has helped you through. Trust in those. Trust in those. Don't quit. Don't. Give your towel to Jesus. Give your heart to Jesus. Give your mind and your soul to Jesus. And don't quit, no matter how hard it get, no matter how hard it may be. Do not quit because God did not put that in you. Maybe you have been rejected by your family. Maybe you have. That pain is real. When nobody don't want to listen to you no more. When nobody don't want to hear anything that you have to say. And you have to find a way to just get through it. Know that when you are getting through it, it is God helping you get through it. Don't quit, faith warriors, please. Don't quit, please. The easiest thing it is to do is quit. That's the easiest thing to do is to quit. It's easy. I have quit before. I have quit. I've quit a lot of things before. And it's the easiest thing to do because it don't require no fighting. It don't require any things to quit. You just got to just quit. But to fight and to stand strong, it, it requires determination to stand in the midst of the fire that you are going through. But let me tell you something. When you are standing in that fire, it is someone there with you. And his name is Jesus. You will not stand in the fire by yourself. You will not be in that water drowning. You will got a lifesaver in Jesus. Hallelujah. You will not be in that desert thirsty. For Jesus is the living water. Hallelujah. Your darkness that you are in, it may be dark, but God will shine his marvelous light. Do not quit. Do not quit. Trust in God. Do not quit. Stand upon God's word when you feel like falling down. Stand upon God's word when you don't have nothing to stand upon don't quit please don't quit eternity is almost here faith warriors it is almost here our um, union with Christ is almost here don't throw in the towel and go back into the world and do those things that you used to do because of your hardships that you may be facing Every day, me personally, I have to make up in my mind that I am going to serve God today. Because every day, when I look over to the right, when I wake up, I know that my best half is not there no more. 
as Satan say, you need to quit. But I serve God. I serve the living and true God. I serve God Almighty, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the first and the last, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the Savior of my soul. Hallelujah. I serve God and I will continue to serve God and I want you to continue to serve God no matter what your struggles is, whether finances, it doesn't matter. You have to serve God. Even if people are belittling you, you have to be the bigger person and still serve God. Because God did not put no quit in you. Don't be a quitter. A winner never quits. And a quitter never wins. Don't let Satan deceive you. We are more than conquerors through Christ that loves us. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God and stand against the evil wickedness that Satan may put into your mind. You are not a quitter. You are a winner. Scream if you have to. Go in your closet. Scream if you have to. Even if you have to go for a long drive and you got to roll all your windows up and you just screaming. Especially if you got tenant windows. And nobody can't see you. You could just scream and just scream and cry out to God like it's nobody's business. And even if you don't got tinted windows, just scream and cry out to God and say, God, I need your help. I need your strength, God, because sometimes we need to just cry out to God because we don't have all of the answers. But God does. And he is the only one. That's going to be able to help you. He is the only one that's going to be able to lift you up. He is the only one. He is the reason that we live. He is the reason that we live. For to me, for, for, for me is to live is Christ and to die is gain. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but it is Christ who lives within us. We must press toward for the mark of the high calling let's press toward our goals in Jesus hallelujah and let us not be sidetracked by the thought to want to quit because it's hard please remember this remember this God is with you when everybody else is with you but God is still with you when everybody else is gone until next time, faith warriors, until next time, let's continue to fight the good fight of faith and let us lay hold onto eternal life. Jesus forever. Bye-bye.